Hello guys. So for our last topic for the first grading is clearing. Okay, so clearing na tayo. Congratulations. So let's move on. So just a review. Okay, so finish na tayo with fixation. So isn't it in fixation? We're trying to preserve the morphological structure, pattern, architecture of the tissue. So as much as possible, kung anong itsura ng cell, ng tissue sa loob ng katawan, yun na rin dapat yung makikita natin sa slide. And it is preserved by your fixation. Next is the calcification. So fixation, di ba, 20 times amount of volume ang ginagamit natin. For the calcification, 20 times rin. So the calcification, the removal of your um, your calcium, <laughs> yeah, and especially among your um calcified organs, you may mga bones, teeth, and so on. Next is last natin dehydration. So we remove the fixative and also the water. So as much as possible, dapat hindi over uh, dehydrated. So kundi magiging brittle. Kung under dehydrated na under dehydrated naman is magiging malamog or macerated yung effect. And now guys, we are in your clearing. Yan. So clearing class is a very important step in between your dehydration and impregnation or infiltration. So it's between dehydration and impregnation. So this step is very important because guys, ethanol is not is not completely soluble to paraffin. Yeah, it's not so for impregnation. Uh, ang so ang ang gagamitin nating reagent are is usually paraffin. Yan. So yung infiltrating agent natin. So apparently guys, the alcohol is not completely soluble with your paraffin. Hence we need an intermediate substance. So para mangyari yon. So in clearing, it's also called as the alcohol Lization. So we will remove the alcohol through replacing it with another, with a clearing agent. We will remove the alcohol and we will replace it with a clearing agent. So one of the most common clearing agents is silene or silol. Yeah. So silene is, or silol is easily replaced by paraffin. So yung clearing, so una, divide and tissue. So, umalis dito yung water through dehydration na palitan ng alcohol. So, now, we have to remove the alcohol, replace it with silene. Eventually, the silene will be replaced by paraffin. So, ganun yung nangyayari, okay? So, ito. So, in between dehydration and infiltration or impregnation. So, that your paraffin could completely infiltrate or enter or impregnate your tissue para siya pumasok, kailangan soluble yung paraffin sa clearing agent. So, yun, silene. Yan. Tapos embedding. Tapos dito yung microtomy or cutting or sectioning. Okay. So, ito yung rational niya. Yan, kung ano, ano yung, yung sinabi ko. So, sabi niya, although the dehydrated tissue is now water-free, it could not be infiltrated by wax kasi nga there is still alcohol yan because wax and ethanol are immiscible so an intermediate solvent that is fully miscible with both ethanol and paraffin is needed yan to remove alcohol yan and this is the intro on gregorius so what is clearing so ano lang so let's uh, add more details. So removal of the dehydrants. So these are your alcohol. Um, one requirement of clearing reagents are, are it should be fully miscible to your ethanol and paraffin wax. So it should be able to mix or dissolve your ethanol and paraffin wax. At nagagawa nga yun ng silene, which is our common reagent. And actually, it should also be miscible to the mounting media. Yan, para malinis natin. So, 
guys, yun nga, ang sasakaw mo na clearing agent is silene. So, silene, guys, has many uses. And one one way also to use your silene is uh, cleaning your mounting media. So, pag nag-mount ka kasi, minsan lumalabas yung mounting media sa cover slip. So, to make it very presentable and looking professional, pwede mong clearing scent with a silene or cleaning agent. What else? Cleaning, clearing agents impart an optical clarity or transparency, transparency to the tissue due to their relatively high refractive index so that we could stain it well, so that we, we could see it in the microscope well to improve the optical clarity and to make the tissue transparent, to make it clear. Yeah, and clearing agents are good for that because they have high refractive index. Pinapaganda niya kung paano natin makita using our naked eye, our microscope, yung tissue. Mas pinapaganda niya yung itsura ng tissue. Mas papaganda niya pa niya sa staining. Yan. Next, remove clearing, remove a substantial amount of fat from the tissue which otherwise presents a barrier to wax infiltration. So it could remove fat. Yeah. So fat that is not needed. And guys, um, and actually, guys, since we already fixed the fat, yung mga na-fix na fat, hindi na yun matatanggal ng clearing. Okay? So if there are still excess fat that are left and were not fixed well and dehydrated, Um, pwede pa siya, pwedeng ma-dissolve siya sa clearing agent natin kasi nga polar sub, non-polar substance yung clearing agent natin. So when do we use clearing agent, agents? We use it, so clearing per se is after dehydration or before infiltration. Yung clearing na process, after dehydration and be, or before infiltration, nasa gitna nila. Pero however, you could use your silene or clearing agent after staining. Yan. So after staining, guys, binaba, pwedeng ibabad mo yung stained na, na substance mo sa silene. Yan. Because it could improve the optical clarity. Yan. So after mo stain, yan, pag nilagay mo yung, yung binabad mo yung slide mo na stain slide sa clearing sa silene, yan, it only makes your slide better. Yan. Pero hindi yun act of clearing. Ha. The way we use silene or before mounting. Yan. Binababad muna sa silene. I'll show you a photo. So, ganun ha. Pero ang totoong clearing talaga, malito ha. It's in between dehydration and infiltration. Okay? However, we could use silene or the clearing reagents after staining or before mounting. In between that. Okay? So, nakakindindihan na. So, for clearing sequence, if the the tissue is only 4 millimeter thick, and um, what routinely in the laboratory, what we use is two changes of silene. One hour sa, sa isang silene na first to remove the alcohol, and next is one hour rin sa second change of silene para... Para mas malinis na doon sa final change of silene. So, 1R, 1R per, per silene. And the volume must be 20 times the tissue. Yan. So, guys, there is a recommended volume diba? sa, fix, sa fixation 20 times, sa dehydration at least 10 times, and sa clearing 20 times. Para may exception, di ba? May mga exceptions. Um, yun yung mga suggested minimum amount of volume. Okay? So, kung 30 times, guys, better. Better kung mas marami. Okay? To ensure complete penetration and uh, submersion of the tissue. Okay? However, itong si Gregorios, kakayo ba talaga siya? So, based on the book, ito yung recommend niya. Sa first change ng silene, 25 minutes. And silene na... Uh, Pangalawa is 45 minutes. So, this is recommend, at least siguro ito yung pinaka uh, minimum requirement. Yan. And if it's urgent, if it's really urgent, so ganito yung kay, siguro kay Gregorios, talagang ito na yung minimum. Yan kung nagmamadali. So, class, sa dehydration, diba, there are tests. Sa decalcification, there are 
test for completeness of dehydration of the calcification. Dito sa clearing class, very simple lang, change in transparency. Yan. So if your your uh, specimens are embryos or a delicate specimen, you could see the internal structures. Yan. Pag yung embryo, na makita mo yung internal structures yan. So if there is change in color, kung nawala yung color, naging transparent, there's change in opacity yan. So op opacity, so pag nagiging opaque talaga, so hindi pa siya transparent, the opposite of opaque is transparent. Change in transparency, change in opacity. Yan, internal structure becomes visible to the neck. So you will know it's completely cleared when it's transparent. Yan, okay? So wala na rin kulay. Prolonged clearing will cause brittleness and it's more difficult to cut. Diba yun naman ayaw natin? Maging brittle, ma-distort. So class, dito yung tissue tech natin. So una fixation. Next is your the alcohol is the uh, dehydration. So, itong proper clearant, ito yung ginamit na clearing agent. And for changes for your infiltration, okay? So, kahit sa tissue tech, yan, um, we cannot do embedding. Because when we do embedding, we need a mold. Yan, wala namang mold dyan. Yan. We do it outside the tissue tech. Yan. So, to facilitate the the increase increase speed increase rate there is a vacuum yan so class hanggang infiltration lang ang mga tissue processors usually okay so hiwalay ang kung may embedding machine man hiwalay yon kung may staining machine hiwalay yon okay so class dito ko na ini-discuss tong pro part clear <coughs> So, proper clean <coughs> is a good substitute for saline. Ganda, non-irritating, non-sensitizing, greaseless, and practically odorless. It's not derived from citrus oil and recyclable. You could reuse it. That's proper clearance. So, it's better than saline. And guys, if you're using tissue processor, we use the a uh, clearing agent which is recommended by the manufacturer so perhaps according to tissue tech dapat ang gram gamitin not silin but proper clearance that's the recommended reagent so kung ano na recommend ng reagent yun yung ginagamit natin okay kasi baka masira pag iba yung ginamit natin uh, Clearing agent. So, characteristics of a good clearing agent. So, it should be miscible to alcohol so that we could remove alcohol. It should be miscible to paraffin so that it could, so that it could be infiltrated by paraffin. Miscible with mounting media so that we could clean if there are excess mounting media. Make sure tissue transparent. Yan. So, for the purpose that it would improve the optical clarity. Okay. Next. Should not produce. Should not produce. Yan. Should not produce shrinkage, hardening, and damage. Should not dissolve your aniline dyes. So, example, which is your aosin. So, aosin, guys, kung naalala nyo, this is color pink. And aosin usually stains the cytoplasm. So, mapapansin nyo, pink yung cytoplasm, di ba? Purple ang nucleus. And should not quickly evaporate in water bath. Yan. So, it should be, it should have a saktong boiling point. Yan, sakto lang na boiling point. Okay. Yeah. Factors affecting clearing. Sabi niya, agents with low boiling point are readily replaced by paraffin. So, except chloroform. So, chloroform has a higher boiling point. So, what does boiling point mean? Isn't it that water has 100 degrees Celsius of boiling point? Actually, medyo mataas yun. Okay? This non-polar clearing agents, itong mga clearing agents nyo, mababa yung boiling point niya. Yan. Kasi yung paraffin, mababa rin yung um, boiling point niya. Yung recommended heat. So, yun. Boiling point 
is better. Low boiling point is better. Okay. So viscosity, higher viscosity leads to slow penetration. So um, so the viscosity means your the resistance of the fluid to flow. Yeah. The bang water is it's not. It's it's less viscous because it is it easily flows yeah it easily flows it has no resistance when it flows but blood guys glycerol di ba medyo viscous like thick thick yung fluid yeah so medyo malapot yeah so it has a higher resistance when it comes to change in shape or flowing yeah so it means it's it these are it penetrates slowly if they are very viscous pag malapot sila and refractive index so refractive index is important because it improves the optical clarity of your tissues it does not affect the rate of clearing however affects the quality of cleared tissue okay so itong boiling point and viscosity it's about speed yan so kung the more viscous edi mas mabagal ang rate of clearing. Pag boiling point, mababa is mabilis ang rate of clearing. And or ma, mabilis rin ang rate of infiltration. Refractive index, it does not affect the rate of clearing. However, it affects the clarity, optical clarity of the tissue. So, clearing agents. So, isa-isayin natin, I think, mga 15 ba? Ayan, 15 na yung ata ito. So, bisayin natin. Number one is silene or silol. So, class, it's our routine clearing agent. So, madalas ito ang nakikita sa laboratory routine. Okay? It's the most rapid. Ayan. And it's for urgent biopsy. It could clear up to 15 to 30 minutes. Yan. Di ba yung na-recommend ni Gregorius Ambilis? Within one hour eh, na, na clear na. Could be used for celloidine section. So not only for paraffin wax, but also celloidine. It evaporates quickly in paraffin. Therefore, it has low boiling point. And be readily replaced by wax. Okay. So, mababa ang boiling point niya. It's cheap pa. Yan. So, class, ang laming use ng silene sa laboratory. So, this one, this silene is after staining na. After staining na to. Kasi may slide, nakalabel na yung slide. Ganyan. So, after staining na to. So, yan. So, other uses of silene. So, the waxing agent during staining. Yan. So, to remove the wax, kunyari, after na, after na stain, may, na, may mga wax pa. Kasi nga, if you, if you remember, so after embedding, after making a mold, di ba, ikakat into section. Tapos, i-float mo, ilalagay mo sa slide. Yan. So, to ensure that no wax is left on the, on the slide so we will wipe it off with we will clean it with silene used in co cover slipping so before up, up, um, mounting or applying your cover slip you could clean your slide okay cleaning tissue processors since halos puro non-polar substances pang linis ang silene remove synthetic immersion oil from the microscope objective para maglinis ng immersion oil yan na, na dumikit sa objective you could use uh, silene and recycling used slides yan if you want to clean your slides and reuse them again clean it up, up so sinabon mo patayuin mo tapos kung may mga naiwan-iwan pa na siguro sebo kumbaga is you could clean it out with silene maraming use ang silene to ya yan so here Guys, so after cover slipping or after mounting, so there are um, few few mounting media that are left around your cover slip. Yan, i-wipe mo ng silene. Next, toluene. So class, itong mga so far, itong mga clearing agents na pag-usapan natin, um, di ko na nilagay, but almost of, of them have are odorous, okay? And you need, as much as possible, you need to work under fume hood. 
kasi maaamoy itong mga to eh. Ayan. So, toluene is better at preserving the tissue structure. Tolerant to small amount of water. Class silene turns milky, di ba? Kung nalagyan ng tubig. So, itong toluene, so kung may tubig pa yung tissue, hindi siya magiging milky. Okay? So, it's a good substitute for silene or benzene. Miscible in absolute alcohol and paraffin. So guys, um, kung tama ako, kung tama ang pagkaalala ko, toluene is one good preservative in uh, urine preservation. Yan. So siguro, pwedeng next best kung walang silene, toluene. Kasi nga, it's also readily available in our laboratory. Kasi nga, pinapanggamit rin siya pang reserve ng ihe. Reserve ng ihe 24 hour urine. Ganun yun sa... Next, tissue do not become excessively hard and brittle if it up, even though you will immerse it in toluene for 24 hours. Yun yung maganda. It has moderate amount of clearing time, yan, one to two hours, and not carcinogenic. However, it's slower when it comes to penetration. It tends to acidify the pH. Highly concentrated solution will emit fumes and it's more expensive than your silene. Okay. So, benzene, to, guys, dapat ha, pag narinig nyo na yung benzene, automatic na makapasok sa isip nyo, carcinogenic yan, dapat you shouldn't be working with silene. Huwag nyong tignan ang silene. Huwag nyong hawakan ang silene. Ay, silene, sorry. Huwag nyong tignan ang benzene. Huwag nyong hawakan. Guys, this is highly carcinogenic, okay? Though it's rapid uh, acting. Yan, tama kaya ito? Hindi naman sa payo sa silene. Eh. Rapid acting. So, for, also for urgent biopsies. It volatilizes rapidly in paraffin oven because it has low boiling point. It's miscible to alcohol, does not make the tissue brittle, does not cause shrinkage. It makes tissue transparent. Kung sa advantage, yan. it's a no low level talaga. Kasama niya ang silene. However, guys, it causes a plastic anemia. Talagang it's a no, okay? So almost of our, all of our cleaning, clearing reagents class are highly flammable, okay? So, for a long time, considerable shrinkage. So, so far, toluene lang ang hindi pa nag-shrink for a long time. So, huwag niyo kakalimutan that it is highly, very, very carcinogenic ang benzene. Kaya hindi niyan ginagamit. Pero, you know, ang rami ko pa rin nakikita ang laboratory tests sa manual niyo, sa face-to-face -face, that are using benzene. So, as much as possible, we are trying to remove benzene in the laboratory. And so it could cause a plastic anemia. Again, so it could affect uh, affect your bone marrow. Yeah. And so anong mayroon pag pag may a plastic anemia? Sobrang decrease lahat, decrease red blood cell, decrease WBC, decrease platelets, lahat na plastic. Okay, chloroform cause less brittleness. Recommended for tough tissue. Okay, tough. Yung mga matitigas. Fibroid, tissue, skin, decalcified tissue, for nervous tissues, lymph nodes, and embryo. Suitable for large tissue specimen. Tough and large. Not flammable ang chloroform. So class, kung, kung alam niyo yung chloroform, yan. Ewan ko pa nag-experiment kayo sa sa frog pero alam ko illegal na ata mag-experiment sa frog. Ang pampatulog pinap ang pampatulog namin sa frog noon bago namin patayin is chloroform. So class ito ang chloroform it affects your liver. It's toxic to the liver. Yan, it infiltration of wax is low kasi it's a has a higher boiling point, okay? Kerap siya palitan ng wax. It becomes milky in prolonged storage. Not because of water, okay? And it could attack the rubber seal used in vacuum impregnating bath. So guys, you could not expose it to rubber. Difficult to remove from paraffin sections. It may even produce considerable de deterioration to the wax. So parang ang chloroform and paraffin, they don't match. 
hindi sila compatible. Tissues tend to float in chloroform. Chloroform. Yan. And so, I think your tissues class are less dense than chloroform. Lumulutang. So, pag lumulutang, hindi, mo, hindi siya mapipenetrate ng chloroform. So, the suggestion here is wrap it with cotton gauze. Yan. Para lumubog. Cedar wood oil. So, clears both para paraffin and celloidine. It's good for CNS. Cytologic stain, smooth muscle, and skin. So, cedar wood oil like silene, you have two changes of solution. So, one cedar oil, two cedar oil. Clearing with cedar oil often improves the cutting of tissue. Yan. So, in your microtomy, mas napapaganda yung cut daw pag cedar oil ang ginagamit. Tissues may be left in oil indefinitely without causing any damage. It does not dissolve the the dyes, it makes your tissue transparent, it does not harden it, it does not interfere with paraffin. However, it's extremely slow, two to three days daw in paraffin. So bago siya ma-infiltrate ng paraffin, three days ang tatagalin or five to six days para ma-infiltrate siya ng celloidine. It is Slightly so, so slower in penetrating than benzene. Sabi niya, it, so pinampleto ko na guys, ah. this is from Gregorius. It is hard to eliminate from the tissues in paraffin bath kasi nga, di, di nga yun nga, hindi sila masyadong compatible. It's hard to eliminate from the tissue in paraffin bath. This may be improved by trans, hindi, compatible sila eh. Okay naman sila. However, matagal lang, matanggal. So, this could hasten by transferring the specimen from oil to benzene for one and a half hour. So, if you will use benzene, it's a no. Talagang no. And guys, ito rin, just like your chloroform, form, your tissues tends to float in cedar wood oil. So, however, pag nag-float naman sa cedar wood oil, mag-settle rin at sa bottom. However, guys, para na lang hindi mag-dry out yung tissue, so we place absolute alcohol on the surface of cedar wood oil para daw bumagsak. Ayan. Bumagsak or it will settle at the bottom of the container. Disadvantage, expensive. It becomes milky upon storage and filtered before use. Must not be filtered naman tong chloroform. Itong si, si cedar wood, it could be filtered. Cedar wood that has been previously used to clear acetic alcohol fix. So if, you're, if you use acetic acid and cedar wood oil, it could produce crystals. Yan. So, to remove the crystals, guys, you could heat it at 200 degrees Celsius. Kaso ang taas na, ang init nitong 200 degrees Celsius para mawala yung crystals. So, just in case there are um, crystals, kung nagsama itong acetic acid at saka cedar wood oil, kung hindi siya natanggal sa, sa dehydration process, yan. heat it at 200 degrees Celsius. So, ito na, guys. Kunti na lang. So, aniline oil for delicate specimen. Magkakalimutan. We have, like, embryos, insects. Class testis is not a delicate specimen. Eyes, yan. Delicate specimen yan. Clove oil, it, however, it, it makes the tissue brittle. It could remove the aniline dye, and it's not good for celloidine. Tet carbon tetrachloride, similar to chloroform, but cheaper and highly toxic. Similar with the advantage and disadvantage of chloroform, ang carbon tetrachloride. Dioxane, paraffin to ha. So, dioxane, isn't it that it's both dioxane and tetrahydrofuran? They are both dehydrating and clearing agent. They, go, they are good if you want to increase the rate of tissue processing para mapabilis ka. Kasi isa na yung dealcoholization mo dehydration mo and clearing. So yung one of the most common is the grafner. So bababad mo sa tatlong changes ng dioxane in 4 hours 
and three changes of paraffin yan in 90 minutes. So, balikan nyo lang yung group nurse. Tetrahydrofuran, ayun, superior nga talaga itong tetrahydrofuran kaso it's not easily accessible. Terpenes, ito. Ang raming terpenes, family of terpenes. Terpenes are actually essential oil. Ayan. Cedarwood is an essential oil. Sir, to, terpinol is a, an essential oil, oil of a flower lilac. Lemonin is the essential oil of the peeling of lemon. Ayan. Oregano, sandalwood. Methyl, benzoate, salicylate, double embedding. Carbosiling for thick mu mucinous papanikolaw smear. So, kunyari, yun, na-encounter ko na yun, guys. Kung kunyari, yun, may mga vaginal and cervical smear na ma mucusy, parang medyo, ayun, carbosiline ang pwedeng gamitin. So, guys, meron pang mga ibang clearing reagent like gums. Pakicheck na lang. Ayun. Ayun na lang. So, yan. Pakicheck yung mo mo module nyo if I I forgot a clearing agent. So, that's it, guys. So, if you don't have questions, I'll see you again. Bye-bye.